I just left you standing out in the rain. <laughs> How are you, mate? Good. <laughs> got a couple of boards here. We'll go try and find a surf. Nice. Good day for it. The, uh, <laughs> the worst weather you can possibly have to find waves here. Professional athletes confront fear every day, some more than others. I've built my career around fighting fear, and believe me, it's a love-hate relationship. I want to get into the minds of those who tackle fear and understand how each individual does it. Do they trick their mind, or do they embrace their scariest moments? What happens to their bodies in these scary moments? These are the questions I want to answer. I'm Mark Matthews. Welcome to the joy of fear. The last time I surfed, I went with my, my youngest brother, who's really into it. Uh, he took me down to Burley. Yeah. And he was like, I oh, will just jump off the rocks. I tripped over, fell in, oh. and was just getting pounded. And I'd borrowed a board from his. Um, one of his mates, I didn't want to wreck it on the rock, so I'm there trying to hold this board, just getting hammered into the... Oh, man. Finally, like, got out and just had blood everywhere. Oh, that, that has to be on footage. And Everything like, gets filmed <laughs> these days. That, that is did, on footage like, the somewhere. walk of shame, like, back along the rocks, just, like, covered in blood. Man. And my brother's out the back. He said everyone was just losing it. Laughing. Oh, it's the funniest what? thing ever. When you're in the surf and it happens. But don't worry, it happens to the best of us. Is there stuff that you do, like leaning up into like the biggest moments, like World Cup, final stuff like that? Is there, is there anything specific you do? I'm trying to have a routine that you know works for you. For me, it, kind of, it takes out the anxiety of, you know, have I prepared well enough? Yeah, um, yeah, that makes because sense. Because that's, to me, like for me, that's, that's, the thing that I focus on is the process. If I've done everything I need to do physically and mentally, you get to game day and there's nothing more you can do to influence the result. Worrying about the result isn't actually going to help you. One of the things that, that also drives me is growing up in Zimbabwe and then having the opportunities that I had and knowing that so many people that you know, I knew or went to school with um, or just other Zimbabweans didn't have the same opportunity. And I guess every time I run onto the field, I feel like I'm in some way representing those people and representing all the people who've helped me get to where I am. Like a, That's mad. You know, for me, um, like I got injured a couple of times and you come back and you've got some fears about getting re-injured, but at the end of the day, like you, know, you blow out your knee again, you might retire and rehab, and, but when you're faced with something where like you could legitimately die, well, I was actually going to ask you this question because I want to know how you did it. Come back. What was your... It's terrifying, man. Yeah? It's just, it, when you experience it, it's not as dangerous as it looks. It's not like every one of those waves is life-threatening yeah. completely. But, but the, could the injury factor is yeah. definitely the, like, the injury side of it to me is, is terrifying. And you went through it, right? You had yeah, your knee, had a of back and then what, you like knees. went two or three games and yeah like I think the thing for me was like after the first one you're like you know, it's a contact sport you happen you play for you know eight or nine years you're definitely gonna have you know some sort of decent injury yeah but then when you do it again and you feel like you've done everything to get back I guess that's when the you get a bit of doubt like you know is my body still able to perform at that level like yeah. do I still have what it takes to yeah. is it time to wrap it type yeah. thing mm -hmm. and I guess those are legitimate questions to ask and, and hopefully find answers to it's and I think like, looking back you know it's not the it's not the great times that you learn the most about yourself from it's the hard times 100%. where you learn a bit more about your character or your motivations or you appreciate things more when you get back yeah